are so excited Cause it's Wednesday, cause it's Wednesday And it's Pulse Day, which means it's cardio day Are you ready for some cardio action? Cause these two are more than ready for it So here's what we are gonna be needing today Some mini bands, one for your lower half One for your upper half And some light dumbbells So those of you at home who only got those five pounders This is your workout And if you just got body weight, we're gonna make that happen as well So let's go ahead and grab our heavier or lower body mini band and put it on you have two options if you want to go gangster style you put it down below your knees if you want to go a little bit less than gangster like I don't know mobster style you put it up above your knees but here's what we're gonna do ten squats so you sink your hips all the way down stand all the way up so let's get started on those ten squats in three two one go ahead begin right now so you got 10 squats coming your way. When you're done, because they're not gonna take you very long, you're gonna pick up those light dumbbells. We're doing a press jack with our feet going out and in. So you're gonna press up, and then you're gonna take your feet and scissor them. So we're gonna go up and out, up and out. You're gonna do 20 of those, count the press. That's too much like, you know, one of these type of movements, you're just gonna go out and in with your feet. But well, watch Anthony, you notice how he's scissoring his legs. One foot is going forward, then back, and then both feet go out. It's a cool little switch, get your mind in the game as well. Once you finish with those, you're gonna leave the mini band on your lower half. You're not using it, but just let it hang out there. Put the light mini band around your wrist. Now we go plank pull apart. So you're down in plank position. Out, in, that's one. Out, in, that's two. 30, three, zero, three, zero. Now these two crazy kids, they're already finishing up their first round. And I didn't tell you this, but we are doing this as many rounds as possible, as many rounds as possible in four minutes. So they're gonna be aiming to get in three full rounds and then maybe a bonus exercise or two. Going right back into those squats. Woo, I love it. So now, as you start to move into it, let's take the first two rounds to really kind of ease into that. But once you're ready for it, if you want to make this a drop squat, a pop squat, a jump squat, absolutely cool with me if you do that. Picking those dumbbells up, going through that scissor, and then that out and in. So just changing the directions that we're moving our legs, again, to kind of warm up all different parts of our lower half. Dumbbells are pressing straight up. Again, we're using those lighter weights today. Getting our arms, our shoulders warmed up and ready to get into it. And then many man's going back on. So when we go straight up, we're hitting the front part of our shoulders. When we go out to the sides, we're getting more into that medial deltoid, the side part of our shoulders. Taking that rest break if you need it and then getting ready to go. Yeah, 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 excellent job. We are two minutes in, just over, so less than two minutes remaining on this little AMRAP circuit to warm things up. Now, there are gonna be three of these bad boys, three total circuits, so continue moving all the way through it. Ooh, there we go, Anthony's getting started on his third set. There it is, Kathy's doing it. but it's gonna still apply some force. Now, if you don't have a minivan, that's okay. You don't need to have it on. You're still gonna be working similar muscle groups. Same thing for the upper body. If you don't have that minivan, you're just giving me that side step, taking your hands out to the side. You're just gonna do it at a little bit quicker of a tempo. All right, these two finishing up their third round. Where are you at? Get in that third set if you are on it. Finish them up. Get in those pull parts. You got about 30 seconds to go. And then we are jumping right in to our second AMRAP. While you are moving, while you are working, just listen to what I am saying. Just listen to what I'm saying. Because you don't need to see it to know what it looks like. In 15, we're stripping all the mini bands off. And we are going into 10 push-ups, 10 push-ups. So you're dropping down onto the ground, elbows go out wide, push the ground away. Let's take those mini bands off in three, in two, and one. Mini bands come off, 
10 push-ups hit the ground right now. Your time begins. So I'm gonna give you three new moves. The rep count stays the same. 10, then 20, then 30. Once you finish your 10 push-ups, stand up. 20 jump lunges, 20 jump lunges. That's gonna be your second move. Once you finish your 20 jump lunges, you're back down into that plank. 30 cross body mountain climbers. 30 cross body mountain climbers. Now this circuit is probably gonna move a little bit faster. So these two got in three total rounds, plus they got their 10 squats in. So on this one, they're gonna be aiming for four rounds total. If you are keeping pace with them, you're going for that same number of rounds. Now later on in our workout, we're gonna be doing a variation of this cross body mountain climber, but of course we're gonna to have to up level it because now we're in the workout, not the warm up. So gearing up, getting ready for that rotation through the core, really finding that smooth movement as you bring your knee towards your opposite elbow. And then look at Anthony goes right into his push-ups because he's already in that plank position from his cross body climbers. When you go into your jump lunges, just like he's doing, make sure you're moving your arms. Not only does it create a counterbalance for your body, but it also helps to loosen up the shoulders from all that planking. There you go, getting a pass. So even when you're in your plank position doing your push-ups and your mountain climbers, yeah, they're more upper body and core focused moves, but your quads are still working. So by the time you stand up and get into that jump lunge, you're already gonna be feeling it in the lower half. All of these moves are designed to be more full body so that you start to warm up every single part as you get into your workout. Now we've officially been warming up for six minutes total. We're two minutes into this AMRAP, you got four on that first one. So let's start to shift the focus a little bit. We're moving out of that warm up mentality into the workout mentality. So that doesn't necessarily mean you move faster. Maybe it does, but maybe it means your range of motion is bigger. So instead of coming just halfway up for that push up, you come all the way, getting that full range. Maybe it means for your lunges, you drop your knee all the way down, or you stay lower and switch your feet finding some sort of way to up the intensity of these movements as we get in to the second half. Every time you finish up a round, that's your opportunity to shake things out if you need that small recovery break. And then as soon as you're able to, you're right back in, going back in for another round. Anthony, you on four? Yep. Anthony's on four with one minute to go. Perfect, these ones are taking about a minute each. Cassie's wrapping up three. She's gonna be getting into it, trying to go into those extra set of push-ups. Now again, when you are moving, continue to do it. Don't pause this to listen or don't stop moving just to listen. But we got one more AMRAP to go, one more four minute circuit. The rep counts are going to stay the same. You got 10 reps of that first move, 20 reps of the second move, 30 reps of the third move. I'm gonna tell you what they are in just a few seconds. Focus on getting that work done. So we are starting it out with 10 sprawls. That's a burpee with no push-up because you just did the push-up in five, in four, in three, two, one. Let's get started on our very last bit of our warm-up. 10 sprawls, 10 sprawls. Go for it, go for it right now. Now, once you finish your 10 sprawls, you're done with that one. You go 20 ice skaters, 20 ice skaters. And then once you finish your 20 ice skaters, Dumbbells up, if you don't have weights, don't worry about it. We go 30 uppercuts, one, two, three, four, all the way to 30. Then you're right back into those sprawls. As many rounds as you can get, this is the last bit of your warm up. And then, like I said, we're not actually in warm up mode anymore, right? We're ready to go, we're in workout mode, let's kick it. Ooh, there we go, love that ice skater. We're gonna transition right into it. Big bend into your front knee. We want to warm up the glutes as well as our quads. Sink it all the way down into it. 
Very nice, I love it. They're keeping their back foot hovering. Now this round is gonna take a little bit more time to move through these exercises. They're just a little bit more dynamic. We talked about up in the intensity. So you might not get in, in fact, probably not gonna get in four rounds, but maybe three if you really, really push it. You don't, oh. wanna, you don't wanna use your dumbbells? Uh, you didn't know, yeah. he didn't know. Come on, oh, look at those muscles. Of course you wanna use those dumbbells. Very nice, right now we are a minute 20 in. So they're just wrapping up that first round. They're gonna be aiming, they're gonna be trying to get in three total. We're not backing down from that intensity. You will get recovery after this, I promise. Moving through at an excellent pace. Their heart rate's starting to elevate. I can hear them starting to breathe heavier. You should be feeling like your effort level is starting to creep towards a seven or eight out of 10. You should feel like it's getting harder and harder to do the same amount of work or rather to do the same exercises. Like you're having to expend more energy to get the same output. If that's how you feel, you are on the right track. There is less than two minutes to go. We're looking at about 90 seconds. Now, when we are in the workout today, we are gonna be working for very, very short intervals, but I'm gonna be asking you for a huge effort in those small intervals. When we only work for a small period of time, we gotta give it everything we got. Woo! Shoot. 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 Break. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Get them cast, get those punches cast. When Anthony finishes his 30 uppercuts, that's gonna be time. So you can see he's on his sprawls right now. He's gotta get those ice skaters and he's gotta get those 30 uppercuts. Wherever you are, let's aim to get in two more exercises. You can do this 100%. I'm gonna say you have just under a minute to go. The speed he's moving, just about 45 seconds left. Finish up what you're doing. Finish up those ice skaters. Let me see those uppercuts one more time. Cassie's gonna finish her sprawl. She's gonna be going for all 20 of those ice skaters. Come on, Rocky. Get those punches. All the way through, Cassie's wrapping up her ice skaters, Anthony's wrapping up his punches, you are wrapping up the exercise you are doing, and if you're done, hold that squat, because we got 10, we got nine, we got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, that is time. Amazing. I know it feels like that was the workout, right? They're like, yay, good job, we're done. We're nah, done. we're just getting started. Come back in in just a moment.